in a book type of afternoon for many of you with the steady rain moving on into the area. We're just hours away from kind of the super soaker rainfall event getting underway right here at home. You'll see by the text here this morning, the rain moves on in soaking rain lingers throughout the afternoon and then eventually later on tonight. We're talking after 10 PM. That's when the rain ends and the big temperature drop arrives as a cold front moves on in live look at first alert weather radar. You'll notice how we're already getting a few little light green specs right here at home. But I want to go ahead and put on a track for when the steadier rain down around Lafayette, Champaign, uh, down towards Indy moves on into our area. You're going to see it arriving in Michigan City right around 7 a.m. Central time for that steady rain and South Bend just shortly after 8 a.m. Between 8 a.m. and 9 a.m. is when the steady rain arrives. And once that steady rain is parked over your area, it's not going to let up until tonight. And we're going to go ahead and call it a super soaker rainfall event. Most of us going to pick up at a minimum an inch of water and there will be pockets scattered of around a inch and a quarter and an inch and a half by the time this is all set and done by daybreak Saturday. Hour by hour, the future track shows the waterworks increasing. Notice the lunch rush out there. Windshield wipers going to be needed as well as the umbrella and the rain jacket. And we keep the water going all day long with highs getting up into the lower 50s. And if you have outdoor plans for this evening, well, it's going to be a wet one out there. Then by daybreak Saturday, I think the bulk of the rain moves on out. Just some nuisance, very light showers or sprinkles first thing in the morning. The bulk of Saturday, I've lowered our rain percentage. I think the bulk of Saturday is going to be dry. But as a northwest wind ramps up throughout the day off of Lake Michigan, and as we start to see these temperatures cool on down, can't roll out some very light lake effect snow flurries or very light snow showers rolling on through Saturday evening, Saturday night. Not expecting road impacts, only looking at about a trace of snow expected as that cold air begins to fall all on in just not to maybe see some white patches out on the grass rooftops and on the windshields of your vehicles Saturday night towards daybreak Sunday. Want to touch on our wind chills. These are going to bite as we go throughout the weekend Saturday all day long. It's going to feel more like the 20s, the upper 20s, but check out this by Sunday morning. It's going to feel more like the teens for many parts of Michiana. So we trade the umbrella for today for the heavier winter jacket as we head on into the weekend. First alert 10 day, we need some hope here. 50 60s <laughs> right. arrives next week. Let's bypass this wave of emotion weekend and we're back <laughs> into the 60s Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, I think so. I, I see that blueberry emoji. It, I, that's what I call it, but it's oh. it's a freezing face and he looks yeah. miserable. Yeah. Mm. It's going to be a shock out there, you know, especially after what Monday or Tuesday we were in the 70s this week. Yeah, mm. yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I saw that icon and then I saw it coming up the next weekend too. Don't think you hid that one. <laughs> hey, we have the results of the question of the day. Yeah, you remember we were asking you, are you disappointed with the choices we have for U.S. president? And it looks like 72% of you said yes. What if we're disappointed in the questions? <laughs> <laughs> so many questions. A lot of questions. Anyway, here. thanks for voting, everyone. We have a new question up. We'll be right back. Hosted by Leah Rem.